What's good, good youngsters? youngsters? It's the, the Young and Dumb, Dumb channel. channel. And I'm James. I'm your boy Rico Lee. King Derek. And today we're going to be talking about how to win at college, how to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, coming up, growing up, I wasn't really prepared for college. My mom, she, uh, she got a degree. She has a master's as well, too, but she was always at work. So I didn't get to learn the college hacks. I had to learn every day on my own. So we're going to give you some nitpicks. And we're going to tell you how who is able to succeed in college. Young and dumb. I'm going to start it out. One of uh, my hack for college is, uh, well, my saying for college, I'm going to say this, is finesse or be finesse. And it's that simple. For real. Either you're going to finesse them or they're going to finesse you. And they don't care which way it is, but they want to finesse you. Simple as that. Um, my college hack is not buying books when you don't have to. Cause, uh, That's a really good point. They get expensive, man. If you got 12, anywhere from 12 to 17 credits, them books could be like $200 a piece. And a lot of times you're gonna use those books for those classes. What I do personally, um, I haven't bought books in the last three, probably two to three years. Oh, the last time I bought it. I think I bought it. Years. Three years, man. Yeah. I, uh, I typically go to the class. Like, I don't stress about books. Like, as in school, I don't stress about school. You know, it's finesse or be finesse. Like, right. that's just simply what it it's is. Like, it's a money scheme, bro. Right? I, I don't take it personal. So, like, when it comes to paying for them books or getting them books, I'm like, all right. I just go to the class and I visualize, I analyze, I see everybody in the room. If I don't know everybody, I try to see, like, what they're about and what they have. And uh, well, by the end of the class, I'm already seen and I picked out who got tablets or laptops. So like, if they sitting at the desk and they got a tablet like this, nine times out of 10, they got a PDF. If they got a PDF for the book, nine times out of 10, they didn't pay that much for it. Yeah. Or they got it from somebody for free. So typically what I do is like, hey, look, I bring a flash drive of class. Can I get that book? Mm -hmm. I mean, most of the time they say yeah, it's simply because they ain't paying nothing for the electronic version of the book. That's the same thing I can I'm like on the PDF business right now. Yeah, so I'm still buying books. I, I'm getting finessed. So I'm, I, I just learned something, y'all. Like, That's yeah. a big finesse, man. Like, I'm, I'm starting to see that you can you can buy like a membership or you can get like ebook or something like that. It costs way less. But see, the school, they're trying to set up where you got to buy it through them first. And ran for 90 days. See, bro, I'll see you. And then you, you, you can finesse. <laughs> yeah, I'm that yeah. finesse. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, you know. I just buy the book. I guess I don't never read them, but you know, we don't use them. So, like you said, man. I mean, don't get finesse. You know, for real. Like books are expensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can count for almost as much as 10 percent of your tuition. So if you're looking to cut 10%, you heard from the best, your boy James. Stop buying books and figure out a way how you can maneuver around buying them expensive ass books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the best way that we kind of do it, we take the books and we put them on Google Drive. So like me, if I'm going somewhere new and they actually got a book that I'm looking for, maybe it's like a heat transfer class or it's like a marketing class. Yeah. Like, yo, I kind of like need this, do you got it? Like, oh yeah, I got this. I'm like, what else you got? They're like, I'm taking econ, whatever it is. Like, oh, actually, I got a drive with that. Start sharing it and you build all your books and you just like, you get an exchange like that. Right. That's how they do it. I, I didn't see you do something like that when we was in our dorms. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't see you when y'all, like, you know, have yeah, I'm allowed to say on camera. Man, we had it out. Yeah, you know. But, <laughs> man, raw, <laughs> raw. Y'all, what y'all see right now, y'all gonna get. Blow up that like button, subscribe, <laughs> man, for real, because, hey, yeah, yo, this we, video. we're all young and dumb, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, we're young, I'm still young, but at a point, I was younger and I was dumber, but, um, I feel now like, we got wisdom, we got wisdom, you know, we, we got experience, like, three, four years of experience in college, and some of y'all are either in college, or some of y'all are freshmen, and if you want to save money, hey, stop buying books, man, for real, you're not going to use them, you're not going to use them, because you're going to be either partying, you're gonna either procrastinate or the teacher's gonna fucking tell you straight up, we ain't using books. You're gonna use what I give you. So, man. Vanessa be finessed. Only thing I would say that's good about a book, though, like to be honest, is if you really like can't comprehend or understand what the material is. 
Yeah. Like math, I have to go back. And see, I'm not saying don't get the book. Right. You still get the book. Just uh, get the book without paying two hundred dollars for it. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta pay that money. <laughs> Take like that it. money and buy a check. Message. Get a free book. In the conversation. <laughs> In the conversation. Buy check. You heard him, man. Like that's check is, is it, man. What you what, what you got out of Rico, man? What's your right. tips? How to win at college? So how to win at college? Uh, well, actually, it's more like a talking point than like a tip right here. Okay. But how to hobby in college? Mm -hmm. What's a good hobby? What's a bad hobby? When you looking to pick something up to like make you who you are in college, is it really good for something that you should pick up? Like uh, something that I started picking up, video editing. Okay. And now we we here we doing videos, YouTube, and everything. Didn't think that it would become anything. I was just was curious about it. Right. But now you can start using it for marketing, actually giving knowledge. What do you guys think is a bad hobby? What do you guys think is a good hobby? Yeah, a bad hobby is drinking all the time. Party every weekend. That's a bad hobby. That's a bad hobby. Because that includes drinking, smoking, and, and, and not. Okay, let me put it like this. Like my sister told me when she went to an HBCU. Take care of your shit first before you go party. Because a lot of people, the weekend will come and they'll go party. And they don't take care of what they need to learn or study or whatever you know assignment that needs to be completed. You know what I'm saying? Party, have your fun, but at the same time, learn to sit your ass down and study. You know? That's a hobby itself. Like for real. I feel like we don't we don't use that as an excuse sometimes. To really just sit down and you know take the time out and learn and, and you know build those abilities because right. over time if you're going to sophomore and junior year if you make it you you'll be weak. <laughs> That's very true. Do you feel stuff like picking up painting and art? Think that's a good hobby to pick up? Absolutely, you can. Yeah. yeah. I'm swimming. The only one thing that I'm really doing you know, when I ever do have kids is that how many talents that they have. Like, I have talents, like I'm good with cars. And uh, like my dad works on cars and actually got attracted to it. But everybody don't have a hobby or a talent that they good at when they come to college. Mm -hmm. So like, if I ever have a kid, I want to make sure they have like that hobby or something, just a trade or something that they know how to do, something to fall back on. That can help really guide them in their career. But like, how do you find it? Like, if you, if you don't know, like, you know, you can't, you, you in a situation where, you know, you don't know what you want to do, you know. How do you, do you, do you explore? If you can't make money off your hobby long term, it's not worth something taking up. Like Dean, you brought up a really good point. Basically, he's really good with cars. Mm -hmm. We're in Michigan, Flint, Michigan, and we have a total year. Europe. And basically the beauty about that is, he's able to literally pay for his college, use them by rebuilding cars, mm -hmm. finding cars that people having issues with, fixing those problems, making it a lot better than what anyone else can people getting in at really good prices. That's, that's a hobby worth it. You gotta turn your hobby into uh, making money. For real. You want to look. For real. It's real spit. Real spit. Yeah. So I got a hobby with numbers. So I like, you know, stocks and stuff like that. You know, I look at it here and there. I'm not an expert, but you know, I have, you know, a slight idea. So that's like my hobby, you know, starting to work. But I mean, you were like helping out companies with that, so. Yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like a, a finance mindset guy. I discovered that probably a year ago. So, um, that, I mean, that's a hobby. Uh, another hobby of mine is I like to, you know, shoot hoops and go work out. You know, just to clear my mind, I'm not thinking about work, I'm not thinking about my girlfriend, I'm not thinking about my friends, it's me, you know. So, I'll figure out something where you can isolate yourself from individuals and do for yourself. I think that that's that's a hobby. That's a good point for college, man. Hobby, getting a hobby, bro. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to get away. You need to get away. Uh, for real. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man. I done had some time. I've been pissed off at them professors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, that's terrible. Heat transfer. Whole class. Yeah. Yeah. If you got heat transfer, like, whole I'm praying for you dude. right now. Anybody watching it, I'm praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Get rid of it by you know just doing it somewhere. You like look, hobby is to take your mind off stuff. Mm -hmm. For real. If you want to go throw rocks, go throw rocks. Real speak, young pups. Talk for real. <laughs> All right. So.
So I, I, I roll on my topic. Um, my topic is um, really like what to do with y'all refund checks. You know, like you know me, man. You know, you know I'm gonna talk about money. Like that like button for my man right here. I'm gonna talk about money. Forget all that. Like I ain't the greatest reader, I ain't the greatest writer. But you know what? When I see them numbers and them commas and them zero, I I, I get happy. I get smarter from some reason. So um, yeah, like refund check, man. Like like. You got a refund check in the past, right? Right. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do that you did that was dumb? The refund check, bro. I always been pretty good with money, bro. Yeah. Like I wanted to, I wanted to flip cars when I was in middle school, high school, bro. I was thinking how I could come up with like two thousand dollars. So when I got that first refund check and I did stay in the dorms, bro, I was in thermodynamics, bidding on the Chevy Cobalt, so <laughs> five, bro. Professor giving a lesson and I'm like. I'm winning this motherfucker right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. I did, won that motherfucker. That's how I did my first refund check. I bought a car. Great. It's messed up to took me the longest to fix it. But it's a learning experience. Yeah, yeah definitely refund checks are reinvesting in yourself. That's a better way to yeah. put it. I know most people they get a refund check, they go going like buy a whole bunch of alcohol or they right. buy like, like, like whatever they want to do with it. Me personally, if your money ain't making money for you, yeah, there's no point happening. If you're not putting it in the saving account, but yeah. even a step further, like investing it, yeah. seeing what you can do with it and grow the money, that's mm -hmm. smart. Mm -hmm. I take money and I put it to the web store that I'm working on, have product right there. I buy products, have people look at it, wait. see what they think. Just let's, have, let's have a commercial moment, man. Like, like, like wait, love. like, hold on. I, I want to show y'all this, man. Like, I really like this. I actually want to buy one. I'm just waiting for him to sell it to me. But this is how I've been feeling lately. If, if you, this is a hobby. So write this down. Walk around with this home and you will be successful. Don't ask me for shit, okay? Like, people ask for things. Look, you gonna blow this up. Oh yeah, yeah he, he gonna blow it up. For sure. Look man, people gonna, when you in college, people gonna ask, uh, people you ain't never met, People you ain't never talked to in your family and you get your refund checks. They don't ask you for things, man. Look, I highly advise you to get something like this that just make your confidence go to another level, man. Don't ask me for shit. And as long as you got that mindset, man, you be successful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it a step further though. So this wise man once told me, uh, what did he tell me? Ah, it was right here. I'm gonna do what I got, bro. It'll <laughs> yeah, come back to you. It'll come back to you, bro. But, um, no, so, like, when I got my refund checks, let me be honest with y'all, bro. I was stupid, you know? What I would do, I would pay up all my credit cards, right? Then I get to the point where I say, ah, oh, I got all this money now on my credit. And I swipe it all up again. <laughs> and then next year come, I get the refund check, and pay it all off again. And then I'm like, oh, I got this money. In the loop. <laughs> Stop. Get you one of these, man. Get your journal. Fuck that, man. Like, when you get a refund check, the first thing I tell you to do is put it, split your money up 70 30. 30 for you, 70 for savings. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure most people refund checks run from about 1000 to 5000 I don't see people get six, 7000 refund checks. So 30% of that, man, that's 2100 And the rest get put up, you know? 5000 get put up. So that's just like my advice, you know? Really just. Put your money up or pay off some debt. Don't go splurge because then you go broke and then you know most of that stuff might be loans and it's it's a cycle. Invest in the later, not the now. For real, it's it's serious. So I mean that's just one of my my biggest things. That's what I want to talk about. We didn't have a video where it's more in debt, but like I just really want to touch up on it about you know our refund checks and how to really spend it. I would do a private session on that and upload it on the channel. And I'm talking more about it. Finesse or be finesse. Yeah. That's mine. Finesse, finesse. It's my thing right there. I love finesse. Love it, daddy. Love it, hustle. Alright. So love it, hustle. Love it, hustle. Youngsters, I guess we're at the point where we're going to talk about what we're going to do next time. Uh, we're going to have more guests. Uh, maybe different locations. We're not always just going to be stationary. You may see us actually filming. Something could be happening in the background. What do y'all want to hear about? We eventually gonna get around to everybody. You want to learn about this, how to win at that. What you struggling in in college? Yeah. What you, what you need to talk about? What you want to hear us talk about? 
talk about everything. We can hit it. Everything. If you could think of, we probably have been through high key. Yeah, yeah. Especially being minority at a oh PWI institution. Yeah. 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 We, we're not at HBCU. Uh, we're not at an HBCU. I'm sorry. Uh, we're, we're at, you know, P, PWI. And we got three PWI. different like colleges right here. So, yeah. we got like my U of M Clint, Karen, so. We, we, we definitely uh, all have similar experiences, different places, but the knowledge, the knowledge can be applied everywhere. So make sure you smack that like button. For real, man, give us a like. Turn on the notifications. For real. I mean, we're, we're giving to you raw footage. Of mm-hmm. course, it's going to be a little more organized, a little more neat as we grow. But what y'all seeing right now is um, the beginning phase. And we, we, over time, we'll get better with it. And um, yeah, rock on us. Y'all youngsters, for real. Um, we're the Young and Dumb channel, man. We're here to really talk about any and everything that was either young or goddamn dumb. So, like you said, man, smack the subscribe button, put your notifications on, leave a comment, like the video. All right. We got right We want to end this, though. That was a long time. Go with peace. Go in peace. Peace. Bro, just walk out. This is the ending right here. This is the ending. This is the ending right here. Go with peace. Keep all this in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep all this in the video. Yeah. Like, let it be wrong. All right, we got, we're going to have all this Look, in the video there. So we come with peace? Yep. Yeah. We'll get it together.